So if you clicked on this video, I'm going to assume that you have decided you want to rock the world of someone with a vulva. Like you want to change their life because that's what's gonna happen if you use the technique that I'm going to give you in this video. Welcome back to my channel. I just love saying that, it never gets old. <laughs> There is a very iconic moment in the Spider-Man movie where Uncle Ben tells Peter, With great power comes great responsibility. And I am going to be giving you a lot of power today. Like if you use this technique correctly, you are going to send your partner, quite frankly, a little cray cray. They may levitate, their life might flash before their eyes and they'll probably ask you, what the hell did you just do to me? And how soon can you do it again? Because this move is something that produces reliable orgasms, even if your partner is someone who has previously struggled to get to the big O. But in order for that to happen, you will need to watch this video all the way till the end. You'll probably wanna get out a notepad and take some notes, and you're going to need to follow what I say to the T. Now, before I dive into it, I wanna quickly give you a heads up that I'm going to be using coded language throughout this video and not the actual explicit terms, simply because YouTube has been consistently demonetizing my videos because I talk about topics that have an adult nature to them. All right, let's. Get Get into it. So you're going to want to have your partner, and that's the person with the vulva, lying on their back with their legs apart. And you are going to be lying on your chest in between their legs with your face squarely in the good region. I think you know where I'm talking about. And what you're going to want to do is put a cushion underneath your chest to kind of slightly prop yourself up. I cannot emphasize enough how much you don't want to skip this particular part. The cushion is pivotal to this entire move. For starters, it's going to allow you to have a lot more movement and flexibility because you are going to be using your hand for this move. And if you are not propped up, what's going to happen is you're going to get your arm wedged against your chest. You're not going to have as much movement and you're also going to end up with a case of dead arm. Secondly, you're not going to be super comfortable without the cushion and often when we think about going down on a partner we think about our partner's comfort we think well I don't really need to be super comfortable for this I just want to get my partner to the finish line but if you've watched any of my videos before you'll know that people with vulvas tend to take a fair bit longer to get to climax when we are with a partner during solo time it's pretty much comparable the reason it takes so much more time when we're with a partner is because we tend to be be much more in our heads. Arousal is very much a contextual cerebral process for women. It's not simply a case of someone taking their clothes off or someone touching us in a certain way and our body responding. It's also impacted by things like how comfortable we feel, how comfortable we think our partner feels, how confident we feel in our body, how stressed we are at the moment, if there's any issues in our relationship in the moment or if we're just under a lot of pressure at work. There are so many factors that can impact our our ability to relax enough to get in a state of being able to be excited. And so relaxation is probably the most pivotal and honestly overlooked step in the process of getting a woman to the finish line. And I can tell you from personal experience and from speaking to many, many women over the years in this job and looking at studies on this topic, that one of women's greatest stresses when we are in the middle of doing it is a quick interruption to let you know that today's video is brought to you by Moments. Moments have just had a glow up. They've got a fresh new logo, vibrant packaging across their entire range and four exciting new condom variants. Discover the ultimate closeness with their mega thin condoms, one of Australia's thinnest. Enjoy a snug fit with their tight fit condoms and unlock heightened pleasure with their super studded design. Plus, as a vegan myself, I love that all of Moments condoms are vegan friendly and more importantly, they're gynecologists tested. And I can't stress this enough, condoms are for everyone, regardless of your gender or sexuality. Safe sex matters. The idea that lesbians don't need condoms is a myth. If you're sharing any kind of toys with multiple partners, you should be covering them up because toys can also house and spread bacteria and STIs. If you want to stock up on Moments New Range and grab yourself one of their toys along the way, I can highly recommend the CEO, then you can use my code NADIA20 for 20% off anything at checkout.
One of women's greatest stresses when we are in the middle of doing it is your comfort. We're worried about whether or not we are taking too long, whether you're getting bored, whether you're enjoying yourself and whether or not you are physically comfortable. So if you can essentially set up camp down there and show your partner that you are super comfy, you are more or less settled in for the night, you're happy to be down there for as long as it takes, then they're going to be in more of a relaxed state of mind and therefore more conducive to getting to the big O. And if you want to really amp that up, make sure you take a little bit longer than you usually would with foreplay. And I'm talking about things that you're doing with the clothes on. I'm talking about things like deep, extended, passionate kissing, holding your partner's face, making eye contact and touching non-sexual areas of the body. So that might be her neck or her thighs or her stomach. This is also great because it builds anticipation and anticipation is a really critical factor when it comes to creating desire for people with vulvas. And if you want to really amp things up in terms of making her feel even more relaxed and just confident in herself, you can give her some verbal feedback and let her know throughout the process how amazing you think she looks, tastes and smells. So the next step is arguably one of the most fun in my opinion and that is executing what I like to call the ice cream leak. And I call this the ice cream leak because it literally replicates how most people would lick an ice cream and that is with a flat relaxed tongue repetition not variety is the key to unlocking the big o for most women and people with vulvas so with the ice cream leak you are very much going to rinse and repeat just get into a steady state and keep that up the entire time and in case anyone's confused about what this looks like i'm going to show you i can't believe i'm actually going to replicate this but here we go so as you can see, I have a completely flat tongue that's very relaxed, which means I'm going to hit more nerve endings. Whereas if I'm flicking, my tongue is more pointed. So I'm skipping a bunch of those nerve endings and I'm also going to be irritating the bean at the same time. Now, this is the real clincher. This is the thing that's going to change her life and break her bed, but it has to be done with the correct timing. Timing is everything with this final step. And that is to use the hook. The hook is where you take these two fingers and you're going to curl them all the way around to form an upside down U shape. And those are going to go inside and press against the G spot. Now, in terms of timing, you absolutely do not want to introduce the hook until she is noticeably excited. And when I say noticeably, I'm talking about things getting slippery. Lubrication is incredibly important for this step because without that lubrication, when you're going in and you're doing something that involves a type of penetration, it's going to be very uncomfortable for the person on the receiving end. Now, of course, some people with vulvas experience difficulty with lubrication because of medical issues, because they're going through menopause or certain types of medication that they're on that can impact that or a whole range of lifestyle factors. And if that's the case, then you can simply reach for a tube of KY jelly and apply that onto your fingers before you go in. So you're going in with straight fingers and then once you're inside, you're gonna curl them all the way around and you should feel kind of a ledge underneath your fingers, which you're going to push against. And you should actually do this applying quite a lot of pressure. I used to tell people in my earlier videos not to apply too much pressure when going in and to really just palpitate. But what I have realized over the years in this job, learning more about the mechanics of female pleasure and the G spot, but also since coming out as a lesbian and learning a lot about pleasure from other queer women is that that area of the body actually requires quite a lot of pressure in order to be properly stimulated. Now, of course, you don't want to cause her any kind of pain or discomfort. And that's why I can't stress enough that this step doesn't come until she's thoroughly relaxed and noticeably excited. And as always, with any move that you're doing in the bedroom, you should be communicating throughout this process to ensure that she is comfortable. In terms of finding that particular spot, the G. It's located roughly an inch to an inch and a half inside and it feels quite different to the rest of that area. It's a little bit softer and squidgier. Now this entire time you want to still be repeating the ice cream lick and the reason this is going to be so effective to combine with the hook is because what you are actually doing here is hitting both ends 
of the bean. We used to think that the bean was just that little kind of pea-sized nub that we could see on the outside sitting just above the urethra. But we now know, thanks to an Australian urologist by the name of Helen O'Connell, that it is much bigger than that. Actually, it has roots which run deep down into the vagina and butt up against the G-spot. So when you're hooking your fingers around and pressing down, you're actually pressing against those bulbs at the base of the roots of the bean. And you're doing that at the same time as your tongue is hitting the tip of the bean. So that's gonna allow for a combined big O, which is the most powerful, pleasurable, game-changing kind of climax that you can have. If you want more tips on how to have better quality sex and you want to dive deeper into this and work with me one-on-one -on -one and learn some skills that I can very confidently promise you are going to give you life long satisfaction. You can book a completely free call with me today by hitting the link under this video. Spots are obviously limited because I only have so many hours in the day, so I can't guarantee how much longer I will be offering this for. You won't just be working on improving what's happening in the bedroom. You'll also be improving what's happening in your relationship as a whole, and you'll feel more bonded to your partner than ever before. So go and use your power, but use it very responsibly. And let me know how you go in the comment section below if you're brave enough and I will see you all in the next video. Love you. Mwah.